uh, Redstone Guy here, and welcome to another Minecraft video. Today I'm going to show you how to build this fully automatic reed farm, and also this 5 minute dispenser clock which utilizes the item despawn timer. Um, you can activate this farm by walking on this pressure plate, or by letting the automatic 5 minute despawn timer um, run its course. Now that timer is optional, so um, I'll leave it to you when we build it, I'll leave it up to you whether we whether you build it in the end. So um, basically we've just got a wire running up here um, with some torches along here which activate these normal pistons. Originally I was going to use sticky pistons due to um, the reeds getting stuck on this side but um, with some water tricks and also these glass panes here instead of just a normal block you can use iron bars but yeah it prevents the items from getting stuck and also I've got a little bit of a pulse lengthener underneath here so that the reeds uh, very unlikely to get stuck. So I think we will get into building it. Alrighty, let's begin. Uh, so what you want to do first is basically find out where you want your middle, where you want the water stream to be, and that'll be seven blocks long. And then t on each side of it, you want to dig out an eight long channel. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then put some dirt down here like so. And then you want to do that the same on this side as well. And next to here on this side and on the other side over here as well, you want to dig another channel and uh, put some water. Like so. You can make this all source blocks if you want, but it doesn't really matter whether it's flowing or not. Then what you want to do is place some blocks along here. This is just to prevent the water from flowing out of here and also to um, uh, also to allow you to place blocks on top of this water because that's where the pistons are going to be. Alright, so now you want to place your reeds like this and they should all grow, hopefully. Then we want to place our water here like so. And then you're basically going to dig out here, and you probably want to make this a couple of blocks long, and we'll put our pressure plate down here later. So now what we want to do is place our pistons along here like so, and do the same on the other side, and then you're going to place a second row on top of that. So uh, in survival you may have to put some blocks in the water stream, but since I'm in creative, I'm just going to place them like this. Now what, you want, now what you want to do is, uh, I think you didn't actually need these blocks, so yeah, sorry about that. Um, you want to place a wall of blocks along here at the same level as the pistons. Then you're going to uh, cover that in torches like so. Um, whoops. And then put redstone on top of that, like so, and do the same for the other side. So move that. Alright, so now what we're going to do is wire up a pressure plate. So what I'll do is I'll get a pressure plate, and I think we're going to put it here, because we're going to have glass panes along here. And also, we probably want to cover this up like so. Uh, now, you may ask, why are we using glass panes? And that's because um, the blocks tend to get halfway between here and the water, and they will be pushed by the water, but they're not going to be. Um, but they're going to get stuck if it was a normal block. So we'll just grab some glass panes, which are here, and we're just going to place them across. here here like so, all the way up to the top. Now you'd only need them on this bottom row here, but I like it so you can see inside the reed farm. And also you are going to place them inside on the level, the same level as the two, pist uh, as the two rows of pistons. Uh, you don't need them on the bottom because otherwise that would stop the water. Yep, 
you want to extend that all the way up to the back here and you probably want to cover this up like so, so that reeds don't fall out. This also helps to improve the efficiency and you may want to cover the top. Now you don't need to put blocks on top of these pistons because they're not going to let any reeds through but I just like to do it for aesthetic purposes. And you may also want to leave a skylight on the top which I didn't do in that version but yeah we might as well do that. Um, you don't actually need this I don't think but reeds I think require a bit of light to grow. If I can find some glass yeah and I'll just leave a skylight type thing along here. Oops. Fall down. And we'll cover this up like so. Oops, I'm terrible with placing blocks. And we'll do this along here. And cover that up as well. Alright, so that's pretty much done except for the wiring and the dispenser clock. So what you want to do here is just get it down like a staircase, like that. And I believe that goes one into the ground there. And we'll do the same on the other side here. going to do is go underneath the floor here. Now I'm going to mine back a little bit here just to give myself a staircase. Now I know I can fly but this is mainly for you guys who will be doing this in survival. Uh, so I believe I'll mine out around here just so we can access it better but you don't have to do this and it will be covered up anyway. So we'll put some wire along here and sorry to dig that out. Uh, we then want to place three repeaters like this. You'll set this one to the second setting and this one to the third setting. You're then going to place some redstone wire like that and dig out a little bit this way. And the same on this side. Since I think this design is almost completely symmetrical. Actually I think it is symmetrical completely. Yeah, You just want to dig out that there and put a torch here and then place a block on top of that and this will be activated and that will invert the signals up here and retract the pistons so now when we step on this pressure plate pistons will extend now this circuit here is just so that the um, reeds don't get stuck because e so if you're on the pressure plate only for like a brief moment the pistons don't activate for a really short time and the reeds get stuck on the block um, we're also going to wire up our dispenser clock in here. Now, this is a little bit tricky in a small area like this, but I think... Hold on, let me just check. Okay guys, sorry about that. Um, this needs to be too long apart, uh, from this little plus sign type thing, and on top of that block here, we want to put a dispenser. So I'll just get a dispenser, we won't need this dirt anymore. And we're also going to need, oh, we've already got a pressure plate. Um, all right, there he is. Um, we'll put that there. And basically, you just want to grab some junk. So any gravel you've got lying around, uh, any gravel you've got, yeah, any gravel you've got lying around that you don't want, you just want to put that in the dispenser or something, or any other block you don't really want to use and can be wasted. So we're going to put that there and we're going to put a redstone torch here so it'll invert the signal from what's on the pressure plate. We're then going to put a, um, a block onto there. We'll just grab one, gra one gravel and put it on there to um, start the clock thingy. Then going to uh, close that up and here as well. And you can close this up as much as you like. I think that, that will, the clock will still work. And now in five minutes that should go off and also this pressure plate acts as a reset line because that will also dispenses an additional item which will reset the five minute timer thingy. Uh, we're then going to cover this up so we don't need to work down here anymore and I think oh we didn't do that side sorry guys um, I'll do this and 
redstone here and cover this guy up. And same on this side. You can probably cover that up however you really want. And we should have an automatic food farm. And that will activate on its own, be fully automatic. Now that clock we built down there, that's completely optional. You don't have to do that, but this just makes it fully automatic. So, um, yeah. Uh, for the more information on the five-minute dispenser clock, uh, feel free to comment um, or personal message me. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. And if this video really helped you, give it a favorite.